What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle and welcome back to another episode of the Search and Destroy Challenge. Today is another day with a new challenge and first and foremost, I said it in the last episode, I was going to start mentioning those of you that submitted in a challenge and I end up going for that challenge and end up getting it, therefore end up making this video so you're going to be um, shouted out, um, kind of have your link put in this video somewhere. Um, so anyway, this challenge was submitted by a YouTuber by the name of Cash Triple X. Um, so his link will be in the description. I don't know if he posts his videos or not, but you guys can go over and say thanks for the challenge. And I'm going to say thanks for the challenge because um, originally this challenge didn't seem like it was going to be an incredibly big deal um, just because I only had to get 10 kills. So I'm going to move into the whole challenge before I talk about if it was difficult or not. Um, so this challenge was the HAMR scope challenge. Um, basically had to put that scope onto an MP5, get at least 10 kills and no more than 3 deaths. I had to use the UAV and the counter UAV um, kill streak combo, which a lot of you guys have been submitting in lately. I don't know why. I'm guessing that you guys want me to use kill streaks that are not really lethal and they don't do like a whole lot because a lot of time now in search, 90% um, of the players are using assassins, so throwing on a UAV just doesn't really help that much anyway. Um, but along with that, I had to use stupid ass perks and you guys just saw the perk list had you scavenger blast shield and steady aim and the only applicable perk was steady aim it was the only perk that would really help me out in any sort of situation and I was kind of going in with the intentions that I wasn't even gonna bother to use the scope um, just because using these big red dot sites like the hybrid scope ACOG scope all those sort of stuff unless you're using a sniper it really just gets in the way of your aim gets in the way of you shooting and especially with the mp5 the recoil is kind of ridiculous on it already and you're using this big scope and it's just jumping around hopping around and it's so hard to try and compensate um, with the recoil and just having a big bulky scope getting in your way but right there that was an instance where I I use one of the perks like scavenger is not gonna help you blast shield it may help you out but I mean it's not like flag jacket from black ops so I don't really use it that much it, it's kind of beneficial when you use um, specialist because you you don't even realize it um, that you actually have blast shield and it kind of does work sometimes but I don't see a whole lot of explosives in search rather than uh, well actually you do see explosives you do see a lot of claymores and a lot of bouncing beddies and whatnot but I've been using sit rep so I see them 90% of the time when I get ready to run in a room anyway uh, but yeah I, I thought this challenge was going to be relatively easy just because it was only 10 kills and I put up 10 kills on an average in search a lot so um, I figured 10 and 2 was probably going to be a reasonable score to get with this weapon, but I ended up going 19 and 3. Um, someone actually joined my session and took away uh, my opportunity to get a 21 and 3, and that would have been a pretty awesome gameplay considering I um, had none of the kill streaks that I usually like to run, I had none of the perks that I really like to run, and using a really bulky and stupid ass scope on the weapon and uh, originally when they said use the HAMR scope I was thinking is it, I thought that was the hybrid scope but I didn't even realize that this was a scope in the game and I would recommend not using this really though uh, most weapons in this game the iron sights are pretty good with the exception of a few but I mean the mp5 the iron sights are good enough that you don't really need to have a scope on it I know a lot of people use like red dot and whatnot on it but it's not gonna really do a whole lot for you because you're there scoping down with this red dot site and as soon as you shoot that gun's gonna kick and then you gotta bring that that red dot back and it's just a whole lot of hassle just messing around with it so I recommend just using um, like a silencer and just just using a silencer silencer extended mags is an incredibly awesome combo for that weapon I know a lot of people have been using rapid fire with it but Personally, I think that thing shoots fast enough as is that you don't really need um, rapid fire. But anyway, in this gameplay, there was a lot of moments where I was stuck in these really clutch situations. And I wasn't able to pull them out for a few reasons just because, you know what, using this wacky gun, using this wacky ass combo, it's difficult. Now, I mean, it's, it's, it's not relatively easy. And I find with the MP5, I really like to run sleight of hand or have extended mags on, either or. Because I find that the weapon shoots so fast that by the time I get one one or two kills my clip size is down um, a lot and then if you got like three dudes rushing you it's really hard to try and kill three of them with um, one clip unless you have like the best connection in the world um, if you don't have like an awesome connection then you're not gonna really do um, 
that that well and I don't have an awesome connection so I usually like to reload after every kill it does get me into some rough situations sometimes but it does help me out um, a lot more than it doesn't so anyway I wanted to ask you guys to submit some more challenges for the series I'm having a lot of fun going for these and some of these are really far-fetched and some of these weapon combos are something I would never imagine myself using never imagine myself uh, doing this well at all with them um, but yeah it seems like you guys have been enjoying them you guys really like the PM9 challenge that was pretty awesome it took me a lot longer to get um, that challenge than I thought it would and this challenge right here I got in my like third or fourth game with it so I was pretty pumped about that and uh, I was pretty impressed that I actually went 19 and 3 and I almost doubled what the challenge was get at least 10 kills with this weapon um, so anyway guys gameplay is coming down to a close I would like to ask you guys if you could just take one second out of this viewing experience and to click that like button just click that comment button and let me know what you guys thought of the video um, that would mean a lot to me um, these challenges are not oh they're not really that easy and I do put in a lot of time and effort to get them and try and impress you guys as much as I can uh, but anyway I will talk to you guys in the next video in the next challenge and let's see if we can break a few hundred likes on this video. That would be awesome and that would really uh, make my day. But I will uh, be talking to you guys next time. Like I said, 19-3 and 3 on C10 with this dumb scope MP5. So peace.